Welcome to ATP Customs. Well, today you guys get an update on the jet boat specifically, instead of just a weekly report on everything. I'll try and start to focus, but I'm gonna end up, I'm gonna end up telling you guys about everything in here anyway, so. Yes, I'm drawing you in with a cool thumbnail of the jet boat. So, our jet boat, let's do a recap. Traded my wife's Mustang that I couldn't get rid of had it for sale for over two years, nobody wanted it. Had about 8,500 bucks into the Mustang, just in parts alone, not including labor. Couldn't get anybody to even show up and look at the car. It was a beautiful car. It is the red 94 Mustang GT that is on our channel. So I couldn't find anyone to buy it. Ended up meeting an individual who wanted to trade for this thing. The paint was horrific on it. It needed a full rebuild, but it had an awesome motor in it. There was $17,500 into this motor and he could not get rid of it either. So we did a trade. And my original plan, this is actually kind of funny to me right now. My original plan was to take this motor out and use it in my 69 Chevy C10 short box chassis that's sitting under there. Because I was trying to do a uh, short box challenge on YouTube where I get everybody to drag their short boxes out and build them with me on our channel. Nobody's done that yet. And I ordered parts for that thing, I'm going to say February or March of this year, and it is now October 14th. Brothers Truck Parts told me they were mailing my parts out May 27th, and it is now October 14th. So currently that frame is now a parts table for the 49 Ford. We just laid a sheet of plywood on it, laid all the parts out, and that's what it's been. I thought, well, I'm giving up on that idea, and we're gonna do something with this motor. So we put this motor in last week, this week, last week, whatever, it's in. And today, all my parts showed up. <laughs> Can you believe that? Literally, we got the motor in and my parts showed up that have been coming since February or March. Well, we're not taking the motor out and I'm not ready to even get started on that thing. So we have some boxes of parts that we will unpack in the next video. I have floor pans, but I also have a coilover conversion kit for uh, 67 to 72 C10s. I got a bunch of parts. I don't even know what's in there. We got some fun stuff to look at and dig out. Well, we'll get to that later. So this motor is a 99 L29 454 that's been bored out to 461. It's got a 671 supercharger with twin Demon 850s on it, and it makes 630 horse with race fuel. And I believe that's a little underrated. I think that my friend Doug, our crazy tuner, can I, he'll pull way more out of this thing. To me, that seems a little light duty for this thing that's built. So we'll let Doug do his thing when it's time. And we are still hooking up a bunch of stuff, but that is uh, all bolted in. Had to put a new U-joint in the drive shaft before we could do that, because it was seized when we got it. So we got some wiring to do. A few more lines, that kind of stuff. The supercharger just sitting on there for now because I was uh, thinking about polishing it but did not have the energy to tackle that. I started with the valve covers and kind of got addicted to polishing this week. Mr. White let me use his cool new polisher and uh, now I just want to polish everything. So we are potentially, right now we are looking at possibly getting a Cosmochrome machine where we can do our own chroming. We shall see. Working that out right now. So the back seat, we basically copied the old seat that was in there, but it was all dry rotted. So we've uh, went and got some plywood, cut a whole new seat out. The battery will mount under that seat. And then we're going to have to get creative and learn how to do upholstery, which we've never done before. So we're gonna give it a go. I got kind of a really simple idea that'll look cool, but fairly easy to do. And the front seats clearly need a rebuild. We're going to have to sand them all down and paint them. And uh, we'll do the same matching pattern, obviously. I just don't know what color we're going to paint the seats. We're doing black carpet all throughout here. And the front. Well, the front had three 50-pound bags of gravel in it. So it had 150 pounds of gravel in the front to keep the front end down. So... 
I started yard and gravel out of this thing and thought, well, we should just put a bunch of stereo equipment up there to replace that. So this will be getting a uh, sub box built in it, two 12 inch subs, a pair of six by nines, just because there's holes for six by nines down there and I have brand new ones sitting around. And probably a set of six and a halfs in the back. There will be a four channel amp and a mono block amp for the subs. And my thinking was because this motor with the open headers that it has will be so loud it might be better to have the stereo in front of you as you're driving into the sound with this thing. Maybe you'll hear a little better. That's my theory. We'll see how it goes. Uh, yes, there's my Amazon uh, chassis. They call them a chassis lamp. It's just LED strip lighting that you can put underneath your vehicle. So yes, the guys over at Total Hardcore Canadian Customs painted this thing because we didn't have time to get to it. And we restored the trailer, we did all the motor work, we'll do all the interior, which we've never done before. And this thing, when they painted it, it has, let's see, it was silver metal flake, was the base. This is all House of Color stuff too, so. Silver metal flake, and then gold candy, and then an orange candy, and there's an orange tangerine. And then there's a white metallic underneath. So there's a lot of, a lot of metal flake going on on this thing, as you can see. It's really dirty right now because it rained the other day. Well, we had it outside. But there you go. Quick update on the jet boat. We are getting close to turn the key. I just want to make sure that everything's right on it because I've never run one of these things and my first jet boat ended up having a supercharged big block in it. It's a little, uh, little aggressive for your first one. Seems to be suiting for around here. Now let's just quickly move on onto what else we're up to. Mr. White is going crazy on the crazy Mercedes. He's doing something fun right now. Mr. White loves this kind of stuff. He is building a cool little roll pan for both sides because the customer does not want a front bumper on this thing. He didn't like the front bumper. So we're gonna customize a little bit. I think it's gonna look really neat. Just nice and clean and smooth, nothing crazy, very simple. It'll be perfect for that one, I think. The 49 Ford, we have good news on that. The company I ordered the body mounts from, that it, uh, they got lost in the mail. Turns out they had another set on the shelves and they sent those out today to me. Hopefully we will have those tomorrow or just after the weekend and we can continue that is wonderful news. I'm sure the customer that owns this truck is very sick of hearing bad news about it. This is an ongoing project that's been uh, two years at least, I think. But that is wonderful. I can't wait to get those in our hands so we can continue bolting this thing together. Oh yes, uh, new white walls will be here tomorrow too. <laughs> I can't wait to see them. Haven't got a call on the wheels yet. The minute those wheels get here with all the center caps and the white walls, Obviously, we're going to throw them on. Got to see them on. I get so excited about new wheels and tires. Let me tell you. Speaking of wheels and tires. The Dually is moving into the shop tonight. It gets to sleep in the shop for the first time since the twin turbo F-150 left today. We have a lot of room. And now we can actually proceed on the Dually. I've started hitting the frame with the wire wheel. Cleaning it up, getting it ready to rock art it. Got the hood off, the inner wheel wells are all out. Just starting to take the front end apart. I didn't want to completely disable this thing because uh, we still needed to move it. But now it can go where the jet boat is next to the Mercedes and live there while we pretty much destroy this thing until it's ready for paint. So that's what's going on on the dually. Uh, oh, and uh, we have a a little compressor problem here. So we weren't able to get to the rockers and cab corners. That's what's been holding things up. Our compressor has been crapping out here at the shop. So we have a new compressor coming on Tuesday and the current compressor we had would not power the plasma cutter. So come Tuesday, we should have a new compressor and we can start cutting this truck up. Get serious about it. <laughs> so finally the dually's on deck going into the shop right now. So thank you for watching. And I hope you subscribe.